Hi, I'm Anoop. I'm from India. I'm working in National Institute of Design, Bangalore, as a faculty in Digital Game Design Department. My name is uh, Abhiyan Humne. I'm originally from Bombay, India, but uh, now I work in Bangalore. Um, my practice is mostly based on the intersections of art and science. I am Mathilde Bionet. I am an interaction designer from France. I'm like a mix between a graphic designer and a digital designer. I can make like websites, apps, but as well interactive installations, for example. My name is Ken Sunny. I'm a Joburg based artist. I'm from Pretoria. Yeah, I make hybrid art. So I delve and dip into everything that presents itself to me that I can extract and create from. I'm Yara McCary. I'm a sound artist and electronic music composer. I live in Cairo, so I'm from Egypt. My name is Josh, and I'm a musician, producer, DJ, and I'm from Arare. I have tried to look about how computers see our traditional cultures. So what I did is uh, an installation where you can listen to music from a kind of computer point of view. Because you control it with your facial expression and the computer changes the music. I collaborated with a guy called Mkuleleko from the Diz Makerspace and he kind of showed me how you put together a sensor for the technology that I used. I was pretty excited to learn about it. Like he programmed everything and he kind of showed me just how to put it together. Um, basically, I was recording the sound of Joburg in many areas. I went like Soweto, Pretoria, and uh, I convert the sound into 3D objects. Here you can see the sound of your city. So this film is titled Shigono. It's a silent film. Shigono is a Tonga mythical creature with one eye, or one arm and one leg. So it kind of reminds me of a camera on a monopod. And I was like, I'm personifying Shigono and looking at Johannesburg from that perspective, you know, so it's sort of like uh, this spiritual mythological entity in the city, you know, that's growing, you know, and growing without them, you know, and their perception of that city, they are. The idea is basically looking at digitizing our instruments and the sound, but also incorporating that into traditional African spirituality to see whether we can have an enhanced communication with the ancestors and also just to see if we can do more in terms of making the religious practice more relevant for my generation in a sense. People here have gone through so much trauma, thinking about water and their daily lives. So I thought, why not give them a different expression of water where they're controlling water and making it rain and enjoying that, you know? This body of work is informed by me being Tsonga and also me growing up in the township. So it's kind of like an amalgamation of both, you know? And the philosophy is Tsonga in that Tsonga people don't believe that there's a difference between spirituality and the physical world. It's one thing. And that's what I was trying to showcase like with the work, you know, like how images can be turned into sound, which is non-tangible. So the tangible exists in the non-tangible and the non-tangible exists in the tangible. Basically, that's the tapestry, yeah. Only one month in Joburg, so it's not uh, um, enough time to do your work and search for the city and collaborate with others. I hope I can come again because it's a really interesting city. I love the city. It was great to have like five, six artists together all the time, you know. Actually, it was the uh, first time for me so far from France, so, so it was very great and with so many people. I think Joburg is a lot more creative vibes. There's a lot more spaces to do things. So in that sense, it kind of just helped open up my mind to the possibilities of like working with other people and just learning from other people. So that, that had a definite influence on, on, on me. And, yeah.